What's up guys, Julian Goldie here and in today's video we're going to talk about how much is too much when it comes to link building. So for example, a lot of website owners are worried about receiving a penalty from Google or even losing all of your traffic from Google completely for building too many backlinks. Now is that a risk? Should you be wary of this? And how many backlinks do you need to build to your website to rank number one on Google? That's exactly what I'm going to talk about in this video. By the way, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. If you want more SEO videos that are going to help you get more traffic, more leads, more sales to your website. Now, Mark Twain, he once said that too much of anything is bad unless it's whiskey. And for me, I don't even drink. So that doesn't make sense, right? Um, I would say it's the same for link building, right? But when it comes to building backlinks to your website, one hard and fast rule isn't going to work for you the same as other website owners. I mean, it depends on the industry. It depends who you're competing with. It depends on the rankings already. For example, if your competitors have hundreds of backlinks, then you're going to need a similar amount to compete with them. Whereas if you're competing with websites that have very little backlinks to their website, who haven't built many at all, then you don't need many to compete. So when it comes to how many backlinks you need and how much is too much, this varies industry to industry. There's no hard and fast rule. Now at the same time, is there such thing as too many when it comes to link building? I would say there isn't. Genuinely, it doesn't matter how many backlinks you build, as long as they're high quality. So if you're looking at Facebook or Twitter, for example, these websites have an insane number of backlinks pointing into their website. But Google's never going to turn around and say, hey, Mark Zuckerberg, what are you doing here? You're building too many backlinks. We're going to ban you from Google. It's just never going to happen, right? Because the types of backlinks that they're getting are organic. They're natural. People are linking to Facebook, Twitter, etc. simply because the content on there is very good, because they like the platform. And that just shows that it really doesn't matter how many backlinks you get. It's all about quality, not quantity. So if you build a million backlinks to your website, but they're all high quality, they're all very organic, they're all very natural looking, and they're editorially added to your site, then that's good. There's nothing wrong with that, right? But at the same time, if you're jumping on Fiverr.com and you're building a thousand backlinks, they're all low quality, they're all like the dregs of the internet when it comes to link building, then that's only going to harm your site. And Google's going to see that's suspicious. It's going to look very unnatural and you don't want that for your site. So make sure that the types of backlinks you are building are natural, that they look organic, that people are actually linking to your content, not because you've paid them $100 to do so, but because your content is actually good. For me personally, I would never say to a client, the buying backlinks from Fiverr is acceptable. It just isn't. The types of links you get off there are very low quality. It's not gonna help your site. And even though you could buy 10,000 backlinks, and even though I've said you can never have enough backlinks, if the types of links you're building are low quality, forget it. You're wasting the time. It's not gonna help your rankings. It could go against you. Google can pick that sort of activity up with their algorithm, and it will notice if you're building on natural links. So overall, I would just say avoid that type of link. Just focus on high quality links. Now, in terms of how many backlinks you actually need to your website, there's an easy way to do this, right? So what you can do is research your competitors and you can see, right, what's Joe Blogs doing that I'm not? Why are they outranking me? And all you need to do is go into a tool like Ahrefs, you type in the keyword you're trying to rank for on Google. So let's say you're trying to rank for best dog food, right? For example, you could go into Ahrefs, type that in, and then you can see, all right, who's ranking number one? Who am I competing with? And how many backlinks do they actually have to their page? And not only that, but you could take it a step further and see, right, how can I get similar quality backlinks? And what sort of backlinks have they built so far? Because if you look at their page and they've built 90 backlinks, but actually 80% of those backlinks are very low quality, then you know, actually, you don't even need 80 backlinks to compete. You just need like 30 very high quality backlinks and that will help your rankings even more. So it's easy to do the competitive research. It's easy to find out how many backlinks are enough to rank. And you can use tools like Ahrefs, jump on there, do the research, and then you can figure out, right, for this page, I need 20 backlinks. For this page, I need 30 backlinks. And you can just create like quite a kind of accurate estimate of how many links you need to start ranking. And I found this works very well for our clients too. Having said that, like I said, you can build more backlinks in competitors. 
that doesn't matter. If your competitor has built 100 backlinks to their page, but you build 120, and they're all natural, they're all organic, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. You're not going to get penalized for building high quality backlinks to your website, no matter what sort of volume they're at. At the same time, maybe sometimes you want to play it safe. Maybe you're worried about penalties. Maybe you're very risk averse as a website owner, and this is your business after all. At that point, then you could just see, right, my competitor has 30 backlinks to the page, so we're going to build 30 backlinks too. And if you build higher quality backlinks versus them, then you're going to outrank them. You're going to be able to hit that number one spot on Google that your competitors currently hold. So I hope this video helps you. You now know that you can never have enough backlinks as long as they're high quality, as long as they're editorially added, and as long as those backlinks look very natural. At the same time, never go onto websites like Fiverr.com and start building thousands of backlinks. That's not going to help you. And that's not the approach you want. By the way, I do run a link building agency. That's at juliangoldie.com. I'll leave the link in the description. And if you want more backlinks, if you want more leads, more traffic, more sales to your website, then feel free to book in a call. And we can talk about how we can help you give you a proven link building strategy that's going to help you rank higher on Google, our ranking competitors, and get more traffic to your site. That's it, juliangoldie.com. Feel free to book in a call now. And thanks for watching.